All right, Aaron Spring, done talking about chocolate. Now we're going to talk about salmon. Yes. <laughs> and this is something that you may gravitate toward if you are, you know, feeling like a really good meal to lift your spirits to. That certainly won't be as damaging as right. a, a whole bunch of chocolate. Because fish, for the most part, is pretty healthy. Pretty healthy, definitely. We, we want to welcome you back. We know you've been on the Hampton Road. Your second cooking appearance. Yes. And tell us a little bit about what we're going to be making today and what we're going to be using. Here comes the magic list of ingredients on your All screen. Right. And the folks at home will also pop it up at thehamptonroadshow.com. So we're going to be making salmon and croup today. Um, and croup just means baked in pastry. Um, it's a pretty easy at-home dish for mm -hmm. you. So um, we're just going to start by uh, teaching you how to skin the salmon. All right. So tell us, you, you said the lemon and dill, and I know there's, you know, kind of like a relish that goes on top. Right. Um, cucumber? Cucumber, capers, red onions, red bell peppers, salt and pepper, okay. and dill. All right. Yeah. Skinning the salmon, is there yeah. more than way, one way to do there this? There is. It's all personal preference. I've like to use my little trick if you just cut into the salmon just a little bit yeah and you can skin it with your hand Get by just pushing here. up against You're the like skin. a grizzly bear that's right I gotcha. and now why do this because i know you know i've prepared and at restaurants the salmon has been prepared with the skin on it so right why do you want to take it off for this um, recipe for this recipe you're not going to want the the chewiness and crispiness of the skin to be inside the pastry it's going to be hard to cut through and chew okay so um it was that simple just with your hand. That was really easy. Real easy. Um, I know the producer wanted to, Virginia wanted to see me do that, but nah. Aaron already did it. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that did seem a lot easier, and I really expected you to go down with the uh, knife. With the knife, and you can. Um, it's just a little trick that I've learned through the years. Mm-hmm. Cool. So um, we're just going to salt and pepper the salmon yeah. a little bit, and then we're going to put a little bit of dill on it, and we're just going to wrap it in puff pastry. So I've just... Before you cook it. Before we cook it this time. Okay, now puff pastry, you can buy this already laid out, right? Yes, it comes okay. pre-made, laid out. Okay, so um, don't be afraid of the puff pastry. Not at all. Already made. Okay, and then you're just putting it in there? We're just going to put it in here and close up the edges so that it doesn't now, are you break open trim on you. This stuff off yes, gonna I'm going to trim it right now. Okay. Um, leave yourself a little room on the edge. Mm -hmm. And now where is this going? Because you've got a pan with some heated oil. Is that that's going in here? Um, normally you would sear the salmon before. Um, you could. Um, I'm just going to do it this way real quick just for time constraints. Okay. Um, and then you're going to want to brush it with the egg wash just for color. All right. So you've got our oven. Wow, you've got a pretty hot 475. Yes, puff pastry, you cook at high temperature. Okay. Um, otherwise it won't puff right. Um, it'll just be a real soggy, wet dough. And you don't want that. Gross. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so we've just cut that. So depending on what kind of time folks have at home, and it's just a preference thing, you could either sear the salmon and then put I it in. I prefer to sear it. I just okay. didn't for, just in today. Okay. Yeah, for TV. But it purposes. will come out the same if you cook it in, in the oven. It will. And I, right. I actually like my salmon cooked a little less. Um, a lot of people like to eat their salmon medium, medium rare. A lot yeah. of people like it well done. Of course, if you want it well done, you're going to cook it in the pan first. All right. We're going to come back to the kitchen in just a little while. Right now, it's time for our first check on the forecast. All right, we're back in the Hampton Roadshow kitchen with Chef Aaron Spring this morning. He's the executive chef at the Chesapeake Dining Room located in the beautiful and historic Chamberlain, well known as a hotel. Now it is a, an independent living facility. Yes, so um, you can still go, even though it's been converted over, but the public can still go to the uh, dining yes, room Yes, we're there. still open to the public uh, Monday through Friday for dinner and Tuesday through Saturday for lunch. Okay, one of the things you can have is what we're making today. Salmon and croot with a cucumber and caper relish that we're going to make in a moment. But a lot of times when we make these recipes on the Hampton Road Show, we do a lot of things through the magic of television. That's right. If you're watching in the first segment, uh, Aaron skinned the salmon, wrapped it in the puff pastry, right. and that's in the oven now at 475. It is. It's looking really good. It's getting nice and golden brown. Right. Did you put it? You put an egg wash egg on wash, top. Yes, egg wash. Okay. Um, but I know you wanted to show folks a step that we skipped for we time. We did. Um, it's important to refrigerate it after you prep it um, to firm the dough back up. Okay. Um, Otherwise, it'll run on you, and it'll, it'll start to separate. So That's a pretty is, important step. So but, this is whether you pan-seared it or if you didn't. Right. Once you have it wrapped, you still want to put it you in the refrigerator. You still want to refrigerate it and then put it in the oven. For how long? For about 10 to 15 minutes just to get it down back to, to pass below room temperature. Okay. So. Let's talk a little bit, and I know we need to start the uh, start the, the relish. Yes. But let's talk a little bit about buying salmon because, you know, I go to the case, and I see wild-caught or farm-raised, color-added not you know it can come everywhere from the pacific ocean 
uh, in Washington State to chili and just any tip that you have or advice for buying the best salmon? Um, it's texture and color is the two key things to look for for me. Um, mm -hmm. Of course you want good color. Color added is kind of going to defeat that purpose. So texture, you want a firm texture. If you touch it, you want it to spring back at yeah. you. Because um, you can't touch it at the well, most of them are wrapped. Like you, so you could. You're paying for it. Why not? Is it better to have um, farm raised, wild caught? That's all per personal preference. Um, a lot of people um, think it's safer to eat farm raised just because it's it's got a more of a a diet that they can control, a controlled gotcha. diet. Okay. But that's all personal preference. See, I always thought wild caught would be better, but what you say makes sense. Right. Who knows what they're eating you out there know. in the wild. That's right. <laughs> okay, enough on that. Let's go, <laughs> let's start making this relish. Again, we put the ingredients up on your screen in the first segment there at the HamptonRoadShow.com, but it looks pretty simple. Real simple. Do you um, want, let's move this stuff over here. Yeah, We have a little more that. room to work over here. All right. Now, now that we've got two of the nice uh, huge <laughs> salmon fillets in the oven, which always makes the crew happy. That's right. When there's enough for everybody. Feeds you guys. So. Okay. Mm, it smells good. I smell the dill. The dill. Yeah. So what are you going to do first, um, or does it matter? We're just, it doesn't matter. We'll start with the cucumbers. If you want to just put the cucumbers in. I would love to. Yeah. And I like then, this bowl, too. Um, the peppers is fine. Onions oh. and the capers. You I couldn't put find it all the peppers there. for a second yeah. there. And the capers. This is a lot of capers. It is. Not scared, are you? No. Um, the onions. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to squeeze a lemon into it. Did you roll the lemon around before you I sliced did, it in half? I did, and I plucked all the seeds out I tried to for you. It looks like I missed a couple. That's okay. Should I get them? I could be all day getting them. They're yeah, just going we'll get deeper that down later. there. All right, yeah. sorry about that. We'll worry about the seeds later. A little lemon seed never hurt all anybody. Right. All right, the lemon's in. And then we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper, a couple just a pinches. Pinch. Right. One. One more. Two. And a couple of pinches of the dill. One, Here's two. a towel for you. Thank you. <laughs> you know. And then we're just going to take the spoon over there and give it a good mix. Now, um, what are what does this do to the to the dish? Is this something to kind of complement or be separate flavors? Um, yeah, it's a complement to it. Mm -hmm. It's um, instead of using a big heavy cream sauce, it's something more summery and fresh and light. A healthier um, too. Definitely. Um, okay. So we're putting it on the Mother's Day menu because we figured mothers would be more into that. Very beautiful. We're going to put the finishing touches on it when we come back. But, you know, whenever you cook, you make a little bit of a mess in the kitchen, don't you? All right. Mashed potatoes, Doritos, jelly beans. We need to bring people back from the ledge. Uh, <laughs> a healthy meal uh, this morning. Aaron Spring is back. He's the executive chef of the Chesapeake Dining Room that is located at the Chamberlain. The Chamberlain used to be a nice place to visit. Now it's a wonder wonderful place to live. live. And you said there's a hundred different... Floor Over plans? 100 different floor plans. Um, so uh, if you want to learn more about that, I would recommend calling or, or visiting the website yeah. um, and get in, get in touch with a leasing and, consultant. And then if you lived there, you could just eat at the restaurant eat in the, the dining restaurant. room. We have and meal yeah. plans that includes meals every day. And really? There's all kinds of goodies that come with wow. it. Wow. So. All right. So look into that if you're yeah. interested. <laughs> We're just about ready to bring this out of the oven, and I haven't peaked during this segment, so I'm excited to see <laughs> what it's going to look like. Our salmon and croute. And we made the uh, cucumber and caper relish. It's right here with the cucumbers, capers, onions, red pepper. Um, not too much else went in here, just some salt and pepper and dill. But, you know, the juices are kind of making its own little A little bit of lemon little juice, salt. and that was about it. A right. couple lemon seeds in there, too. Yeah, they're Won't in there you. somewhere. Wow, doesn't that look pretty? Yeah. Now, how do you know when it's done? I know you've made it a zillion times before, but how would I know that um, this thing's ready? I, 20 to 25 minutes, you're usually pretty good. At um, 475? At 475. Okay. The color, you can tell. Of yes. course, you don't want it to cook too dark. Okay. Um, if it's still white, of course, it's not done. Right. So, and um, if it's black, it's burned. Thanks, gonna, Aaron. You really yeah. helped narrow it down. <laughs> we're just going to plate this up family style. Okay. Um, it's a nice way to serve it. So we're just going to take it off the sheet pan, put it on a nice big platter. Right. And if you didn't tell people what you were making, they'd be like, all right, a yeah. loaf of bread. Exactly. There's a surprise in yeah. there. Uh, we're just going to... Put a good amount of the relish right over the top. Yes. That looks great. And we'll save a little for the I side. I made that if relish. Wants to. So you did. I did. It's all yours. <laughs> and and then, then we've got some microgreens here. It's just a mixture of uh, some some mini green salad greens and some, some edible flowers. And we're just going to add those on there for a little bit of color. What are the edible flowers? Those marigolds? Um, I couldn't tell you what they all are. There's Come so many on, different Aaron. ones they use these days. Uh, I feel like a Purdue chicken. Aren't they fed like marigolds and uh, I don't know what they fed in their commercial? 
Those are good. Well, that looks beautiful. Of course, we plated it up family style, but we're going to have to wreck it just a little we'll bit, just, little just bit. to get everybody a little bit of taste of our salmon and croot. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. Well, everybody's going to come back in the kitchen in just a few minutes. But right now, John Cash has joined us once again.